part of my junior year and part of my in all of my senior year I was attending high school on a base in Japan while I was there um, I met this woman this girl got to know her through her brother and she was a you know a big girl and everything and and both she got a job in the NCO club where I was washing dishes. She was busting tables. And we flirted all the time and we talked and laughed and cut up. And we, really, we really had a lot of chemistry. But I was just a shy, fat, sit face. I mean, no, no self esteem at all. And, um, and, and I never did anything about it. And one night, I was at the movie theater, and I saw her in, in a distance, the other part of the parking lot, walking in to go, go, go see the same movie, and she was by herself. And I, you know, I went and sat. I was sitting. I got one in the theater, and I and I sat. I saw where she was sitting. Cause it was just like the big neon sign, "Come sit with me." So you know, you know, and I didn't do it. I sat there, more, you know, just too shy and too insecure. I was rooted in this, rooted in this chair, the seat of the theater. And then um, I watched the movie, went home, didn't think any more about it. You know, because. I was used to doing crap like that, you know, just, I was, you know, I, I, I had, my, my teenage years are terrible. And, um, well, the next time I saw her at the, at the NCO club, I asked her if she enjoyed the movie. She said it sucked. You know, and, um, she, she came in, you know, she was throwing trays around and slamming things, and she was pretty angry. And, um, And finally, she you know she came back a little later after she calmed down. After she calmed down, she said, "You know, guys are supposed to make the first move." And that was the end of that. You know, and um. So anyway, I'm 63 years old, and I still think about her, and I still think about that night, and I wrote a story about. It.